James Auburn from the Pretenders. Use a, uh, an, a like a '65 or '64 SG, and uh, oh, what's the Les Paul? It's like a reissue. Yeah. It's like a '59 reissue Les Paul, and uh, a Strat, which Chrissy let me use. She doesn't know where it comes from. It's old. It's Really old, I don't know. How, but don't think I should be really taken out on the road, but it's, it's old. But it sounds great. I don't know how old it is, do you, Jerry? I don't know anything. About it looks right. pretty, pretty old. And uh, and what else? Yeah. I use a B bender that this guy called Creston Lee made makes for me, and he's from Vermont. He's a guitar oh. maker. He's made a couple for me. Eric Haywood plays one too. What are they? Um, are they? Is that an acoustic or an electric? Or it's a... an electric. A B bender. So you so know, like uh, Clarence White used in the birds. Oh, okay. So the okay. B string goes up. Got one of those. It's gold. That's Creston. Creston guitars. He's just great, you know. He's the great guitars, and a lot of people use them. He, I mean, Eric, that still plays, has got one. Uh, who else? Jay Farrar from Sunvolt. Uh, Chuck Prophet. I think a few people, you know. Bottle Rockets use them. They're, they're great guitars. And what else have I got? You got the uh, Butterscotch Deli. The yeah, that's a 52. Reissue. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And uh, what else? And a mandolin. Like a 1957 uh, Martin. This one's not so expensive, I found out. Really? Yeah, I thought it was. I thought I was getting a good deal. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh, no, I did get a good deal. It kill me for. No, yeah. And so um, it's not that expensive, really. No, it's, you know, not. it's not one of those really high end things, but it sounds good, I think. It's the mandolin. It's the mandolin. <laughs>